Okay, I thought I would show you some of the features in Zoom. So I just joined my iPad to the meeting and I wanted to give you kind of how you use it. Now, when you are in your Zoom room, there's some things that you can understand. You have control of your participants uh, and you just open and open it up and look at your participants and here you can hit more and you can ask them to start the video. Uh, you can, if you have a pro account, you can make them a co-host or the host uh, and you can put them in a waiting room if for whatever reason they're not uh, listening and you can, when they have video on, you can also shut off their video. The same here, you can also here mute them Let's look at these. They're not going to work right now because it, I don't even think it, well, there you go. You can ask them here. You can, uh, they're muted already. Uh, you can uh, hide their video. And as well as, let's look here. I have these features because I have paid Zoom. If you don't have paid Zoom, you may not have breakout rooms. So that way when I have a very big group, I can divide the kids. I also have live transcripting. I have the ability to record. Everybody should, but we will not use that feature. And then we have the share. So uh, let's say I want to share content. I decide where I'm going. I'm going to go here. You can also share files, just so you know. Uh, you also can share a PowerPoint, and now you can, or you can share as a virtual background. This is new, so you may be able to share a video too. Pretty cool. That would come in the back of you. So let's look at just the basic one, and I want to share a website. Now somebody is asking, uh, I think. Tandy was asking about material, and we may have a problem with material because the kids may not have it. She was asking to have the kids make a kite. There's really something really cool. It's called online. Uh, let's just look like a geo board. And then online. A geo board is really, really fun. And online geo board, where is that? I think, no, not this one. Where is it? There's an online geo board just bear with me for one second online geo boards hmm. let me reword it uh, online geo boards okay the, there's an application that actually gives you the geo board it may be geo board here Yes, here it is. Okay, I'll put that link underneath. So she said she wanted to make a kite. And, you know, let's say that you, your children don't have these materials. So they can easily make a kite here. And the one thing about the geo board is it's a lot of fun. You can take it and they're going to add their rubber bands. And they can make their kites big. They can make their kites small. And the only suggestion I would have is you know, give the kids a demonstration first, and then we can have the tail of the kite, and then you can add another tail for the kite, and then um, you can drag here. Oh, wait, I gotta put the coloring function on. Now I want to fill it. So then I change, I think it's here, fill bands, okay. I just bring it across, bring it up. Then you can add the four lines for the band to say that this is the way it was built and then bring it across. And you have a kite. Now you can have them save their kite and this cute function here is you can make it go like this. You just bring it across the whole kite and you drag it so they can show each other. They, op they have it closed, then they have it opened. Now, if I want the other person to, to participate, I can give the iPad the remote control. And I just give the iPad the remote control, and I tap on the remote control, 
and you can see me moving around and let's see if I can grab something. The problem with the iPad is that I think it's only for the click. If they're on a computer that would work. So the this actually has some really limited uh, abilities. You can I can draw on the screen. Uh, I could have the student draw their name. Mm, where's my text box? Text. Do, 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 do. There it is. Whoa, a little slow. There. I can ask them to draw their to write their name on the kite, and then they enter. And you should see that. Another way they can do that is they can go right here with remote access. Let's see if I can do that in my remote access. Let's see if I can. Yep, I can even get the text box. And uh, I can write my, well, my, I'm typing, but nothing is happening. Okay, it's giving me, let's just see what happens when I type it. Okay, you have to understand I have an iPad too. It's very, very old, <laughs> but I can show you they can write on it. Uh, and I can also write here, maybe because I did it from here. Oh, I, I just probably couldn't see what I was writing. And then, you know, Brenda's kite. So the kids could write their names on their kites. You can make it bold. You can make it small. You can change the color. They can change colors. So they can get really creative. And then they can just bring this over here. And hold on a minute and then they can drag it and they can show their friends. Now, anything that somebody wrote on the board and you want to erase it, you just go up here uh, and you find annotations and then you have the right to clear it. One thing I like about annotations is here you have a spotlight. It's the thir right, third one over and you can write and it'll disappear write and disappear and you also have to change the colors as well okay and then when you're ready and there uh, you've showed them how to make it then you just save it it's right there they have well let me move all of one thing i love about zoom is everything gets in the way oh no now what did i do okay and there is a save button here share and they can share the link with you inside the classroom. And they have a code that goes with their kite. So they can share that link or they can save the image and send the image to you while you're in class. So this is how to use that. And this is um, also a really good place uh, to draw if the kids don't have paper. It's called uh, a geo board. And we did so many of these uh, last year. And I hope you enjoy. Have a great Saturday. See everyone later.